I'm uh, Chana Senavaratna. I'm the Executive Head of Technology Development and Innovation. Um, so I head up a team of people that do a number of things, including driving network automation across networks. Uh, we also um, have a group who head up the 5G Innovation Centre and we do a lot of our leading edge network developments on 5G, edge computing, um, satellite communications out of the 5G Innovation Centre in, in Southport. Okay, so I've been in Telstra for over 35 years. It's a really long time and uh, I've been, uh, I'm an engineer. I went to uh, the University of Queensland, I did electrical engineering and telecommunications. I worked in the power industry for a short time, but I came over to Telstra and I've been involved in the mobile industry since the very early days. So I've been involved in 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Um, and I've both, um, you know, been involved in the setting up and the deployment of that network and expansion of all those networks and I've also been involved in shutting down three networks, um, 2G and uh, 1G before that and uh, CDMA. So uh, I've had lots of experience. Four years ago, we advised our customers that we will be shutting down the 3G network on the 30th of June, 2024. The reason we're shutting 3G down is that that technology is over 20 years old and it really isn't fit for purpose for today's modern communications and for our customers. So that's the first reason and the second reason is that what we intend to do is that we intend to repurpose the spectrum currently used by 3G to 5G and that's going to help us expand the 5G network a lot faster uh, than if we didn't have that radio spectrum. If you have a device, and that could be a handset, a telemetry device, an FPOS machine that only works on the 3G network, you will be impacted. On the 30th of June 2024, your device will stop working. So you do need to upgrade that device to one that supports either 4G or 5G. We do have 3G towers where there's no 4G today. And what we are doing between now and the date of closure, we are turning on new 4G towers and we are testing the network. We are driving the network to make sure that there's 4G coverage everywhere there's 3G coverage today. So if you do have a 3G on your device, you need to contact your device manufacturer as soon as possible to get that device upgraded to work on either 4G or 5G.